In this video, I'm going to show you the GTM renamer, which makes it really easy to rename your tags, triggers and variables with the help of a Google Sheet. All the more coming up right after this. Don't you hate it when you log into a Google Tag Manager account of a client and you see that they don't have any naming conventions whatsoever. So it really is hard to dig through their account and audit their account. Well, that's when I came up with the GTM rename idea. This is a Google Sheet that you can install to your Drive account and it will give you the functionality of renaming your assets really quickly. All you need to do is go up here to the Show Sidebar option. This will open up your sidebar and you can choose your account, your container and your workspace and then get the data. This will build some sheets for you down here, the tags, triggers and variable sheet. And once that is done, we can easily see and audit our existing implementation, see what name convention exists, what type of tags are in the account, the folder, the notes. And if you want to have more information, we can also click on the link, which will open up our variable or tags or trigger in a new tab. So this is great for quickly auditing an account and seeing what is there. Now, it seems like the triggers and the variables have a naming convention with this dash in here, but the tags are all over the place. All I need to do is basically take the tag and write into the field a new name. For example, GA, page view, all pages. Once I press enter, it will say that it will change this name if I click on this upload changes button. Now let's do this just for a test upload this change and we'll rebuild the tags, triggers and variables. And at the same time in my tag manager account, if I reload this, we see now our Google Analytics tag has a changed name. Nothing else changes, just the name of the tag itself. So a quick way to change a name in Google Tag Manager through Google Sheets. Now, obviously we have the capabilities of Sheets in here. So if we wanted to go ahead and rename all of these, Let's go over here into this naming helper sheet and this will actually help you to concatenate new strings. So for example, in this case, we have an AdWords transaction and conversion tag. So the input first would be, for example, our tool, in this case, AdWords. Then the track type, in our case, it's the conversion tag. And the actual scope, in our case, would be the transaction and that would be fired. So now we have a concatenated string here that we could then use in our tags. Now let me fill this out really quickly. And once I have this all filled out, we have our finished naming convention. So we went from this column here to this column here, and I can just copy that because it's in the right order, go over to tags and implement that right here. You need to be careful, you need to paste that in as the values and not just control V. And then you will see what names will be changed. This column will be changed and we can go ahead and upload our changes. And voila, we should now in our Google Tag Manager account see that our tags are all renamed in the right order and with a coherent naming convention. So this tool can easily help you to rename all your assets within Google Tag Manager. Now, right now, what you see in the sheet itself is the type, the folder, the notes, the link and the changes. Now, everything that's grayed out is actually not editable, only the name for now. We are working on adding folders and notes so we can upload that really quickly as well. Now, if you want to have a copy of this tool, then head over to measureschool.com slash GTM renamer, and we'll be able to give you some installation instructions and also a copy of this sheet so you can use it in your Google Tag Manager account. I hope this is useful to you. And if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. All right. So did you like this video? Then don't hesitate, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you can go over to the next video over there or subscribe to our channel right over there because we will bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.